a real estate and finance expert that goes to bat for you every day as a consumer advocate. Your host and the consumer quarterback, Brandon Rhymes. And welcome to the Consumer Quarterback Show. We're blessed and highly favored to be able to come to you daily here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. We got the four o'clock drive time spot, and we're real proud of that. We got uh, Robert Paredes in studio, Flux Funding. Also, uh, Theo Williamson coming in as well, Florida Best Quote Insurance. We've got a real estate packed day for you here. State Farm, Allstate leaves California. Uh, so interesting when you have major insurers leaving a, a state like that. Uh, also, the need for 4.3 million homes uh, to meet demand now. So we got we have a you know a, a huge supply uh, demand uh, dis- uh, in, in uh, inefficiency there. You know we're looking for more housing, and that's been the story for a while. Uh, so we're going to talk with Robert about that. By the way, he's a proud Army veteran. Flux funding uh, on the Consumer Quarterback Show uh, coming up here in just a moment. Before we do. We always like to feature our real estate listings, and we feature our listings as a way to help our sellers profit more and sell faster, maximizing the exposure for the sellers. Residential, commercial, vacant land, if you're selling properties or leaving money on the table, if you're not listing with the Platinum MVP team at uh, Coastal Elite, PlatinumCoastalElite.com as well. Uh, So we got 861 Mandalay Avenue, Clearwater Beach. This is a gorgeous property. Now, the north side of the beach in Clearwater is much more desirable, Uh, a lot less of the tourist type action. This is more family oriented and just a great opportunity. This one is 861 Mandalay. Uh, It's listed just over a million dollars here, two bedrooms, two bath, and just a gorgeous layout, beautiful property. You've got a nice courtyard area in the middle there. Uh, an outbuilding as well that could be utilized as a rental. Gorgeous kitchen, uh, granite countertops, lighter colors. Everybody's going to love the style and the layout of this home. 861 Mandalay Avenue, Clearwater Beach. Uh, one of our hot listings from the Platinum MVP team, Keller Williams Realty. Uh, also, we got a, a $13 million asset in Orlando, Pebble Creek. Now, uh, this is a $13 million dollar a uh, piece of dirt. You got 100 acres. You can buy some dirt there. Uh, prime development opportunity. Excellent location. T- short-term rental community. And you're 10 minutes from Disney, Universal Studios, SeaWorld, downtown, and more. Pebble Creek Court, Four Corners. Uh, that's in uh, Orange and Osceola County. Uh, great opportunity to invest in some land. Looking for my builders. Where are my developers? Builders, developers, and entrepreneurs. Great opportunity there. Uh, you can buy some dirt. And check us out online. You can see all the listings. Platinum Coastal Elite.com. And yeah, I'm racing my class to those saving our ass overseas. And a quick shout out to our friends at Discovery Golf Cars, longtime friends of the program, Discovery Golf Cars uh, here in Tampa Bay. Uh, they have new and used uh, Easy Go Star EV Cushmans, many different types. DiscoveryGolfCars.com. DiscoveryGolfCars.com. Let them know the real estate quarterback sent you. All right. Welcome back into the studio. Robert, good to have you in. Mr. Brandon Rhymes, how are you, sir? Awesome. Doing great. Blessed and highly favored, man. I know. I, You know what? Uh, real quick, that land that you have, 100 acres, I know some builders. Okay. Uh, so if you can have one of your, uh, maybe Alex or somebody, send that over to me. I'd, I'd be more than happy to share it. I know the builders are always looking for land. So. Okay. Okay. Note taken. Note taken. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Appreciate you doing that. Man. Sure. Absolutely. Uh, so we, there's a lot a lot of stuff happening in real estate, man. You, you look at this this supply shortage yeah. in housing. It's it's an ongoing issue. I just don't understand why builders haven't doubled down. I do know one reason or one excuse is that they got burned in 08 yeah. uh, when that happened. Yeah. It's, it, it's uh, plus, uh, I, I think the last time I was here, we talked about possibly trying to get some help as well and they can't keep up in a supply demand issue as well um this this data that i sent over to you 4.3 million that was about two weeks ago when i sent this information we're probably up to five million now. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly we're kind of joking around a little bit but there's just nothing available man nothing available yeah so it's, it, the market's still tough is that what you're seeing as well yeah it is you know there's a challenge there, there's you know there's a kind of a mixed bag and it's interesting too when you look at uh, the demographic that's actually buying is, yeah. is 61 years and older. They're the ones selling. They're the ones buying a lot. Millennials are kind of at that age now where they're looking to buy. They are, yeah. um, you know, the, the demographics can go. You can go into the demographics conversation there. Uh, and then you just go into uh, this this conversation around uh, inventory leads to the supply chain. And it, and it leads to the cost. Right. 
So yeah, the, the, yeah, the millennials right now are the ones who really want to buy, but they can't move right now. The interest rates are high, which, by the way, they they rose the last time I was here from last week. Uh, so your conventional loan, and before I quote NMLS four three seven one three four, I gotta say that right. Okay. Uh seven point three percent, man, and then your FHA is still below seven, but it's still. It's still up there a little bit, um, but consensus saying that it's going to be down hopefully by the end of this year and next year as well. So because I know the Feds really want to lower that down. So we'll yeah, see what happens. Yeah, it's interesting to see. You know, they caused the problem and now they're kind of slow. You know, as as far as l- allowing the rates to stay as low as they did for so long, yeah, incentivizing their Wall Street buddies is Correct. what they were doing. Of course, and uh, you know they kind of see where things are going, but before the the average common layperson does, and uh, yeah, it, it's a frustration that people have. The other thing that's that's rising but is finally coming down a little bit is rents. I did see that as well. Uh, I know the Tampa market went down about 5%, so that's pretty significant. Um, and so I know I live in Apollo Beach, and there's probably, what, 800 units going up there uh, in the next uh, three months or whatever. They, they built it pretty quickly, so... Yeah, so that's see what happens. That that's interesting too when you look at you know the rents. It, it, and, and I hear there might be a little bit of a... Um, you know, st- not stalling out, but a little bit of diminishing returns in the short-term rentals, Airbnbs, Correct. VRBOs. Are you seeing that? Catch a wind of that? I actually am seeing it as yeah. well. Uh, you know, because it's a tipping point. I, I, I think what's the average median income in the Tampa Bay market for a single person is forty-four thousand dollars. So, mm. you know, those twenty-five hundred dollar rentals, you, you got to double, triple up, and everything for even to to support it. Yeah, make those monthly payments. So yeah, that's that's what I'm hearing from a lot of a lot of renters want to yeah. buy, but they can't. So, yeah, and the rent the the, the challenge challenge too on the landlord side is like hey you know if i'm if i'm vacant for a couple months let's say worst case scenario i have a water leak or something happens now now i got vacancy for a month or two you know a lot of people don't have those savings you know the average savings for the american is way down yeah absolutely yeah way down as well uh credit card uh, debt also is on the rise a little bit and uh the data i saw was uh some uh, foreclosures also uh, creeping up more even so for florida as well so yeah, one point two trillion dollars. We we reported on a show a couple of weeks back uh, is the new number, the record number for for credit card debt in America. Yeah. One point two trillion dollars, and of course, uh, you know, Supreme Court slapped down Biden's uh, fake and and baloney uh, appeal to buy votes through the student loans. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot mm-hmm. of student loan debt out there too. Correct. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I think it is going to uh, trigger back again in September. I think of what it is. So um, many of the many of the student loans definitely. Um, um, are, are preventing buyers uh, uh, to buy homes as well, but uh, somebody who knows how to find uh, many of the uh, workarounds for student loans for your debt ratio, such as myself, there's ways on how to get that around as well. So and still right. make your payments. So. Yeah, and that's the, I think that's the big thing is you know that, that a lot of people don't understand. Uh, we're talking with Robert Paredes uh, here on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Flux Funding uh, Mortgage Expert Contributor on the show. I'm your host Brandon Rhymes, and I think that's the difference too, Robert. A lot of people don't realize that in any industry, there's good, better, and best. Right. And and. You know, you can walk into a bank on any corner. You go sit down with somebody. You know, they're probably really good people. They're probably cool. You might know them from your kid's soccer game or whatever. But they're not going to be able to find the best loan and program. Like, talk a little bit about, you know, how you do that, your expertise, how you just mentioned you're able to work debt ratios through these student loans or other other ways. Yeah, you know, um, I've been doing mortgages for uh, over 25 years now, and uh, I'm a mortgage broker. So what that means is uh, I'm not a banker. I'm not retail to where, you know, every person, every buyer has a different, unique situation. Uh, for instance, if you have challenged credit, but you've got a lot of money down, I can help you with that as well. So w- what I do as a broker is I can shop your your uh, scenario around and your best interest rates as well. So that's that's really the difference of uh, being a mortgage broker. Yeah, one of the challenges in Florida, too, is we have pretty active, you know, tropical climate here. And, and of course, that's why a lot of people move here is because of the climate and right. uh, the, the, the sunshine tax or our absence of a sunshine tax because we don't have a state income tax. Correct. Uh, but, you know, the roof life of, of, of homes, you know, that's that's a challenge, too. You see that that's been a big deal in the state legislature it, it last really, year. It really has. Been. So let me tell you what the lender's uh, guideline is, is that as long as when the appraiser goes out to the property Hey, all we care for is a three-year roof life on that on that roof, right? But the problem is I'm seeing insurance companies now that they have to have at least a five-year life expectancy. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter if the lender says, hey, we don't care three years, but if we can't get insurance five years, you got to get that fixed, got to get it replaced right. from what I'm seeing. Yeah. So uh, the, the, the guideline now is that we're looking for a five-year life expectancy on the roof. 
Okay. Nice yep. Place. And we're going to have Theo talk about that as well. Yeah. Uh, he's sure in studio, not his head over there. Florida best quote coming up uh, on the second half. But yeah, you know, so there's a lot to be said there. The state legislature acted. They they had to act. And I, I hear, you know, different callers. I, I talked to a lot of people from the show, by the way, 727-263-3707. If you want to have an off-air conversation, 727-263-3707, uh, consumerqb.com. And I, I get a lot of different calls. You know, I, I get people calling on listing pre-approvals, real estate, injury, uh, personal injury laws, you know, all these different experts we have. Uh, but I've had a few lately talking and wanting to talk about the insurance side of uh, the real estate space and, and what the state legislature did and how they changed some of the, right. uh, you know, the, the, the precedent or in terms of, you know, if, it, hey, if I'm a homeowner and I sue the, the insurance company, uh, some people think that DeSantis and, this, and the legislature went too far as for, as far as saying, hey, uh, you have to win the case in order to, used to be you could recover funds. Right. right. So now they changed right. the rule around that. So it's a little yeah. bit more risky to sue your insurance company. Right. Uh, but yeah, man, what a fine line because once the pendulum swings, it has to swing back. And we had a lot of insurers that left the state. Correct. Correct. As a matter of fact, um, uh, uh, I was all, all state and state farm left California as well because it's just it's just the construction costs and natural catastrophes that they were having over there. It's just too hard, very difficult to, uh, wow. to insure as well. So I, and I know from what I hear uh, from insurance agents as well is, uh, you know, it's very tough to try to get flood insurance and it's doubled and tripled unless if you can get that transferred over also. So that's a different situation. If you want to live by the water, it's going to cost you quite a bit more for that uh, for that lifestyle, definitely. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's in, you know construction cost. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, like as you mentioned, natural disaster uh, that happens. And, and so, as a big company, they're saying, "Hey, look, I can make just about as much money in these forty-eight states than I can yeah. forty-nine, because a lot of these yeah. have left uh, the state of Florida as well." But uh, let's. I want to switch gears, talk a little bit about down payment programs sure. because I think that's another misnomer that people have. They think like, "Oh, I can't do it. I, you know, I've got to stay, rent for another year, sign that lease for another year, because I don't have enough money for down." Payment. Payment. Yeah, and you know, the best down payment assistance program right now is actually the Hometown Heroes. Uh, for those of you who know a little bit about it, they, they the rules changed actually J- July 1st. Prior to July 1st, you have to be some type of a, a hero, considered hero, whether it be uh, a, a firefighter, a teacher, police officer, whatever. But now come July 1st, as of July 1st, as long as your uh, your company uh, has a brick and mortar office here in Florida, then you qualify up to thirty-five thousand dollars as well. Now you do have some income uh, 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 maximum, but it's, it's up to one hundred thirty thousand dollars as well. So you can you can get down payment assistance. Of course, there's so many different types of down down payment assistance depending yeah. on where you live and so on your situation. Best ways to get um, hopefully if you want to contact me as a mortgage broker, I, I have a lot of different ways on, on how to get you down payment assistance. What, what's your website? Where do you want people to go? Uh, it's applywithrp.com. Super easy. Apply with, and then my initials, rp.com. And again, it just really depends on what your situation is. But the, the really, the, the great loan program right now for down payment assistance is the Hometown Heroes program. Awesome. I love it. Uh, anything for our veterans, man. They serve the country. They do so much. And, uh, you know, a lot of the Gold Star families, uh, yeah. man, you know, it just seems whenever you hear things in the news about something going wrong uh, for a veteran, uh, it just really hurts. You know, I don't I hate to see that. Uh, so Robert Paredes here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Flux funding. Uh, we have a loan for that. That's his uh, slogan under his uh, logo here. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back more with Robert on the Consumer Quarterback Show. I want to dive a little bit more into these different programs, loan programs, foreign national loans as well, uh, is something to talk about uh, here coming up on the Consumer Quarterback Show. And uh, follow us online. We'd love to connect with you at Brandon Rhymes one at CQB Show on Instagram and uh, Brandon Rhymes PA and, and the Consumer Quarterback Show page out there on Facebook as well. Uh, we'll be right back. ConsumerQB.com. This is work done, and you're listening to the Real Estate Quarterback Show, hosted by my man Brandon Rhymes. All right, Brandon Rhymes here, Consumer Quarterback Show, in studio with Robert Paredes from Flux Funding, uh, mortgage expert contributor on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Work with the local economy, folks. Support the local economy. Support the parallel economy, uh, and, and people here on this program. Uh, please support the program. ConsumerQB.com. All right, a couple of hot listings here for this segment. We always feature our real estate properties on the program. Three. 416 Crepe Myrtle Drive just listed last week. Hernando Beach, beautiful waterfront property, completely renovated. 
uh, beautifully updated three bedrooms, three bath, 1864 square feet. Uh, you've got a, a just a gorgeous property. You got a game room there, paver decks, fireplace, uh, great opportunity for a short term rental. Uh, the owner's been crushing it on the short term Airbnb VRBOs. 3416 Crepe Myrtle Drive, Hernando Beach, Florida. All right, we got another one at 9731 San Vincent Way, uh, right up here in Port Ritchie, Pasco County. Another great opportunity, completely renovated and whole house remodeled one and a half years ago. Top to bottom, down to the studs, uh, one and a half year old roof, high impact windows, new AC, new air ducts, all electrical components, hot water heater, new appliances, everything's new uh, on this property. 9731 San Vincent Way, Port Ritchie. Great opportunity to own real estate here in Tampa Bay. You can see all of our listings at PlatinumCoastalElite.com. This is God's country. All right, Robert Paredes in the house. Uh, Robert, talk to me about these foreign national loans. Yeah, so uh, Florida is the uh, number one destination for Europeans, right? A lot of Germans and uh, yeah, French and English, uh, uh, United, King, United Kingdom. And so obviously they don't have U.S. credit or U.S. income. So with 25% down, they can buy a piece of property, investment property or second home uh, with no questions asked. Uh, there are certain countries that you, we don't sell to and everything, but uh, for the most part, uh, yeah, you can just you can just do it. Do you look at their? Do you do you have a look at a, at a credit report at all? I mean, if they're coming directly from overseas, do uh, they have a credit agency over there? Uh, How does that work? They they do, but we don't need it. Typically, what we'll do is maybe just a couple of re- letter of references from either their bank or maybe if they're self employed from a vendor. So it's really not a big deal if you put twenty five percent down also. But obviously, yeah. the rate's a little bit higher, but they can get it done definitely. So so at twenty five percent down, the bank's like, yeah, you know, fine, we'll, we'll lend on that because sure. we got twenty five percent equity yeah, built in. It's a good risk. It's a good risk. Right. Absolutely. And um, and so we're seeing a ton of those like you know your last uh, last two listings uh, airbnb uh, that's what you're seeing a lot of europeans take advantage of that as well especially in florida especially in tampa for that matter yeah absolutely uh quad duplex triplex those are great opportunities for people to buy turn around you know live in one side rent out the other two or three yeah you know funny that you mentioned that because you can do an fha loan a four unit with a purchase price of just a little bit over nine hundred thousand dollars and you can wow. put as little as three and a half percent down Rent those other uh, three units, it pays for itself, and you're living for free and building wealth. That's definitely wow. now tough to try to find those ones that work. But I mean, right. if you have them, you can get it down as little as three and a half percent down. Man. Yeah, and you I mean, don't have to have great credit. FHA with a six twenty credit score, five eighty, you're good, man. I know a guy that uh, I just I got a deal that we just recently closed or about to close. He he's got an acre of land and he's in the USDA area. Mm-hmm. He put a mobile home on it, brand new, newer mobile home, and Man, those are selling for premiums because you get the hundred percent financing. On Absolutely, it. that USDA program. That that ratio is a little tight on that, and it's it's it's, it's income driven as well. But some of these manufactured homes that they build nowadays, man, they're nicer than some of the other homes that you see, actually. So there's right. no shame in that. Plus, you get land as well. Yeah, acreage. exactly. Yeah, you can do uh, FHA. Will do that as well. Hundred, uh, you know. Three and a half percent down, depending on your debt ratio. But USDA, that's a great program to have as well. Yeah, and the yeah. rates are pretty pretty low. It's awesome. You know, yeah. you can have some chickens out there. You can <laughs> raise a four H hog if you want. Get chickens a- delicious, man. <laughs> Especially public. Well, can I say public right <laughs> You can say whatever you want okay, as far yeah. as that goes. But uh, yeah, you know, you got you got the you know the, the agricultural style. You got the three wheelers, four wheelers out there in the shed or the barn. You know, like that's a that's a lifestyle that I think a lot of people are kind of you know leaning towards moving yeah. towards these days. Get me out of the city. Especially when you look at the smog and the crime and some of the, not in Tampa Bay as far, you know, crime's not so bad, it's the smog, but some of these other cities, you know, definitely. Yeah, there's definitely folks leaving the the city and uh, going out a little bit more into suburbia and, uh, you know, in the rural area as well. So, you know. On that note, you do lend in other areas, right? Uh, I, I, I only do in, I'm licensed in Florida, but I am able to do what we call investment DSCR loans in, uh, uh, anywhere in the United States. So in okay. other words, if you want to buy an investment property with no income verification, I can do that anywhere. And that's debt that's service fine. coverage ratio? Yeah, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. And what that is, Brandon, is let's say, for instance, your mortgage payment is to me is $1,000. As long as the market rent is equal to or more than $1,000 a month, then you you can get a, a property with 20% down, depending on your credit, Yep. Uh, with no income verification. You can buy as much as you want. I like it. I like yeah. it. Good stuff. Uh, what else? FHA spot approval. Let's talk about that because we talked about uh, 4.3 homes uh, to meet demand now. Mm-hmm. Your biggest issue right now is that uh, you've got a lot of rent- renters um, that uh, can't afford 
um, you know, a big home or whatever, but FHA, you can't get it approved. Mm. There is a way if you reach out to me and how I can get that one unit get approved for an FHA borrower. So I, I know we're running a little bit of time, but if you we're reach good. out to me, definitely um, there's a way on how to do it. There's, there's some magic that I can do for you that not very many loan officers know. I like it. I like that magic stuff that you know people don't know. It's kind of the, one of those things. It's like, I may have heard about this, but mm-hmm. I'm not sure. How do you want people to connect with you? Uh, my phone number is 81. This is my cell number. Uh, seven days, eight days a week, 813 813- Three zero zero seven two one eight. Again, that's eight one three three zero zero seven two one eight. Or you can just email me, Robert at fluxfunding.com. What's flux with two X's? Flux funding, Robert at fluxfunding.com. Yes, sir. All right, man. Always good stuff. Well, uh, yeah, hey, we covered a lot of ground. We talked about low inventory, the, the insurance industry, you know, State Farm, Allstate leaving California, yeah. uh, down payment assistance, renters, get into home ownership. Stop renting, please. Get into the game. Start building up wealth for you, your family, and, and not, uh, you know, building up that wealth uh, for your landlord. So, uh, Robert, until next time, man. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate you. My pleasure. Always, always great having you as well. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. Theo Williamson on the Consumer Quarterback Show, Florida Best Quote Insurance. Uh, we're going to dive deeper into these different areas of uh, insurance, flood, uh, catastrophe, wind, uh, water, uh, the, the different ways that it can be broken down as well. Uh, Theo Williamson coming up here on the Consumer Quarterback Show. Check us out online, ConsumerQB.com. Hey, this is Grant Cardone, and you've been listening to the phenomenal Brandon Rhymes, the Consumer Quarterback Show. 